I'm Alora Tran. I'm Jason Lee. And today is another episode with Trading with Jason. So Jason, what is the learning curve for trading stocks? Can older people still invest? Honestly, uh, I don't think there's a age limit. There's no limitation. There's no, uh, I mean, uh, restriction at all. I will say this. I have students ranging from 21 to 70. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't mean the older you get, the harder you learn in certain area, but not every single area. Young people, sometimes they find it difficult to learn stock, whereas older people, they find it easier and vice versa. Mm -hmm. I would say as long as you're still capable of learning, then it doesn't matter at what age. Right. Yeah. Right. Look at um, like uh, Warren Buffett, he's 90. He's still, he's still like, investing, he's right? still investing. He's still thinking sharp. He's still like doing everything that like young people can't even do it. So I would say it's not about the age. It's not about the limitation. It's about yourself. If you still can, you know, operate, can behave, can do things every day on your own, mm -hmm. then sure, you can do anything. Right. So I don't think there's a, I mean, there's a curfew or a limitation or restriction at all. Yeah. I mean, I have students that are like uh, in the late 50 or even 60, they are doing pretty well compared to like uh, somebody in their 20 right. because of the experience. Right. And so, time. And time. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Because we have some, a few people who are older and they're just, you know, afraid of, you know, starting about trading and trading stocks because of their age. So that's a relevant yeah. question that, yeah. that, um, that arises. And don't forget, you know, in the comments below, if you have anything that you, you want to learn or want us to record, have questions for us, we'd love to answer those type of questions in these type of episodes. It's, it's catered for you guys. Absolutely. Yes. So what are we looking at this week? The market did so well today. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought usually on a Friday, uh, before the weekend, people will sell all the stock because they don't want to keep it overnight. Mm. Most of the time, that's the way it is. But today, the stock did so well, mm. uh, especially Tesla. I don't know if you bought Tesla or not, but Tesla went up so much today. Wow. So because of the fact that inflation is in control right now, so that's the good news. The Fed wants that kind of news. So that's one of the biggest reasons that the stock market went you know, up so high today. So aside from training, what's happening this week? Anything fun? Uh, well, remember I told you? Well, I just came back from, from Southern California. Yeah, how testing. was your trip? It was a great, it, it was a, a big success, yeah. I mean, everybody mm -hmm. was so happy that I went there, you know, provided stock education for them. Mm -hmm. And then, not next week, but the, on the 16th of uh, April, I'm mm -hmm. heading out to Denver, Colorado. Okay. That's my next destination uh, where I'm going to be uh, teaching stock for the Vietnamese community. That's amazing. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, because Jason's fluent in Vietnamese, so not only does he tr teach in English, but also Vietnamese. Yeah, unlike Vietnamese. unlike Elora, who is <laughs> who is Vietnamese one hundred percent. Yeah, she can't speak a word. I uh, was raised around American. It's yeah. very hard, but I'm trying to learn, trying to be have good influence, like around fluent Vietnamese speakers. Something I can learn and pick up from. Yeah, it's, it's good to know. I mean, it's good to know uh, one or two languages. You I know. need practice. That's yes. the thing. With language, when you don't have practice, it just mm -hmm. fades away. Well, start with a Vietnamese person. That I was going to say, start with a Vietnamese born person. I and mean, then you already have a husband, so I'm going to crop this out. Well, thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next week. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.